Hello. I've had a lot of people ask me to do a creation video of, of how I do the Hot Wheels themed paintings. So <clears throat> this is this is how I do it. Uh, we're going to start off with I get a car. So I'm using this car for this creation. As you can see, it's got it's blue. So it gets good lighting here. It's blue. It's got some green in it, some a little bit of white, and a little bit of darker blue, light blue. And so what I want to do is kind of match those colors. And I <clears throat> try to come up with a, a negative space on it. And then to get the the exhaust, flames, whatever you want to call them, out the back of it. <clears throat> this one, since it's a VW Bug, I was thinking of possibly doing more like a burst of um, of smoke, I guess you could say, exhaust coming out like boop, 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 like three. Uh, we'll see how it goes. It might just end up shooting it all the way out the back. It depends on how it does. I've decided to go with a white negative space on it, and so I'm going <clears> to <throat> put that down first, and uh, and then I'll add the colors. What I usually try to do is get it about three quarters of the way up the canvas so it has a long trail behind it um, not centering it um, when i was taught um, art how to paint by my uh, my mom taught me and um, she always told me to never put anything center in a painting um, to always have it off just a bit, up a little high, not in the center. Um, so that's one of the things I try to do in these. And uh, so this is how it's going to go. And uh, I get everything spread on here uh, and it doesn't have to look real smooth or anything for me it'll all flatten out and everything when when it dries <clears throat> but one thing I do like to do is blow out some of these air bubbles so that when uh, you do do your your blowout with your When you do your blowout with your hair dryer, those things will, those air bubbles will be gone and those will pop up and change the color scheme and stuff. Pop up and ruin the pattern, I guess you could say. Although this one I'm gonna try to do So I'm going to start with the darker, darkest color first, put one, 
two, and we're just going to do three. Three little spots. I'm going to do the lighter blue. I'm going to do a green, and I'm going to try to, I think I'm going to put a tail right there. Trail over there with the green. Now normally with a Dutch pour, with what I do is I would pour more white paint on the sides and blow it on top. But I think what I'm going to do is just pour a little on top. Not much. And I'm not actually going to use a hair dryer on this one. I'm going to try it. Not really done this before, like this style, so we're going to try it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, then we'll recreate it. And that was almost a disaster. That would have went into the paint. All right, so I think it's about where I've got one it. Um, so I have the car here. So this is about what it would look like on there. You can kind of see that. That's best way. I think you can see the. It almost kind of looks like flowers, almost like what is on there. Um, it's got the darker blue, the lighter. The lighter blue is kind of hard to see, but it's in there, and then some green. And then, of course, you got the white in there as well. So I think that'll turn out pretty well. We'll finish this up and let it dry, cure, and then we'll resin it, and I'll, and then we'll place the car, and then we'll be done with it. Now, I just spread the resin as you, I don't know if you can see it in the video very well, but um, it's kind of milky looking. But that's just because it has so many bubbles. There wasn't a whole lot of uh, ounces in this one. There's only seven ounces of uh, the resin mix. And so when I was stirring it, it creates a lot of bubbles. So that's what you got to use the torch for. And so I'm going to blow these out. And we'll just take all those bubbles out. Now, I want to ask me um, 
out my mind so my resonance was shiny so smooth and this is why it's torched it's torched to death basically but um of course i'm overlight i have the cause of light i have three lights over here to uh, give me good lighting across the room you can really see you can't get down that level and see the light in the level you can see where the levels are and if the torch is still blowing out levels sometimes standing like straight over above it i can't see them but when i get down i can really see them where the light shine on the reflection of light on i can see on canvas to see where those levels are where the torch is still knocking out levels you can see it in there um i don't even able to see the video but that is the secret just torch 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 until i don't see any more levels popping and so i guess that's my little secret the secret but that's my little tip just torch it torch it torch it torch it and i never try to get it right straight down i always moving it I look for imperfections in it. Sometimes I see these little, these little lines, you know, probably about a quarter inch longer, eight inches or so. I break them off. Little lines stuff. I have no idea what it is where it comes from. And uh, so I use my stick, my stir, whatever with. I pull them out. Also, all right. Move it from there, from there. And I notice that when you leave, some of these bubbles in there, and it really comes out when it dries. And then, uh, I mean, I want see just flat, flat, clean surface. I don't like any little imperfections in it. That's just me personally. Um, all right, so now I've got the torch. I think pretty well. I still go over with the light. I'm just looking at the light that's up here. I'm looking from this angle from the lights I have. Just different angle, different views. All right, so I have have it resin. It's wet, still good. So this is the car that's going to go on it. The little VW Bug. It's not going to go here, here, here. It's going to go right at the very tip, to where like it's coming out of the back of the car. And all you have to do is all you have to do is set it in there. And you can move it around. It, it's all right. Let's find out where the best spot is. I think I'm going to make this one straight. <clears throat> so just find the spot where you like it. And there you go. And then you have your resin Hot Wheels piece. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope this helps some of the people that wanted to to know how to do this and they can do it themselves. And I hope they do their own versions and uh, have really great paintings from it. Thank you.